This is something you haven't seen for a while. I've always got it close. Um, it's doodle do, and I've been mounting samples in this for what seems like forever. Now, they're mostly stitched before they go in. Occasionally, they're stitched within the page. And at the moment, I'm kind of halfway between knowing what I want to do and not knowing what I want to do. Um, so I've got a lot of bits lying about the house. And I think I said to you before in a video not that long ago about keeping everything and putting them in little storybooks maybe when I was working in that Astrid book, that Swedish book. Um, so I'm trying to keep some stuff for more little books to sell but also preserve some stuff so it doesn't get lost. Uh, and also put some stuff in little books to keep them safe and for future reference. Like that's a sample that's properly mounted there onto a header mount and put in here. Um, so I'm skipping some pages because I don't like all the pages. But some of them are like little stitch bits of paper that are put in. Don't like that page. Um, this one. And so what I'm doing today, you might not see me actually stitch on this because I'm dithering. I've got lots of little things like this. Um, so I've actually stitched one in at the minute. And I don't know whether to add anything to that. I was looking, because I want something just to make it more than it is. So I was looking at these little bugle beads. Black ones. And I was wondering about putting some of these on. Maybe in a row like that. But I'm trying to encourage the people in my class at the moment. Some of them are making a lot of samples. And I'm trying to encourage them to think about putting them in a little book. So, you know, I should practice what I preach. I wondered about putting some of them down there, but I'm not sure. So the thing is, I can't really decide. I'm in a right funny mood this week. You'll notice that from my blog post yesterday. But there's no way I'm going to throw all my work away. But maybe I need to empty it out of my head. Maybe that's what I need. Not physically throw it away, but mentally throw it away. But anyway, that's a different story. So I thought about that. And then I thought about these like lozenges. But then I'd be copying something that I did in my sample portfolio. But then again, not necessarily. Because if I just stitch them separately there. But I don't think that lifts it enough, to be honest. So I don't think I'll be doing that. And then I just wondered even... Just some French knots down there, maybe, might be the, but actually that's probably going to be the best thing. But I'm probably not going to, I'm not, no, not probably, I'm definitely not going to do that on camera. Um, I just need to talk out loud, um, because I've got all these little bits. I mean, this page, if this page was just that, it wouldn't matter, it'd have space, it'd be nice. But I could also maybe come back and put more than that in here that's a bit big that one but even little tiny little scraps like that you would think oh get that in the bin it's rubbish don't don't do it another one what a lovely page that would be wouldn't it maybe that's what i should do actually maybe i shouldn't stitch on the page maybe i should just stitch all those things into that page like that that might suffice i think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I've got a bit of more solid stuff here. Let's see. No, it doesn't fit, does it? These are all much of a muchness, you see, in terms of texture and weight. They're all very light. I've got another one of them as well. Um, like that. So I'll gather your bits and see if you've got a page in a book anywhere that they'll fit. I actually think they would look really nice there. And then maybe I could do French knots in between them all. I'm just thinking about logistics of that. Um, I don't know. Anyway, no, I like that. I think that's going to work. I might just literally just stitch them all down and just leave it at that. And that's four pieces preserved and safe. And I wouldn't use them in anything else. I would always want to keep them as a reference, a point of reference for me in terms of replicating them not exactly but you know using the process to create something similar um 
Yeah, I think that is definitely where I need to go, what I need to do. I just wanted to run that by you, um, because it helps me to verbalise. And if I just sit here talking to myself, the men in the white coats will come and get me. So I wanted to just talk to you about that. Thank you for your help. It's very much appreciated.